for, and this may be the last time I get an opportunity like this one. If I can get laughs from the judges, laughs from the audience, I'll be the one walking on air after the show. I'll be a happy man. You ready? I am ready. All right, go. Hello, hello, how's everybody? Good, how are you doing? Very well, very well, thank you. What's your name and where are you from? Andy Huggins, I'm from Houston, Texas. Tell me about your day-to-day -day life. I do crossword puzzles, Sudoku's, there's at least five naps over the course of the day. I love my damn naps. So is this the big dream? To do stand-up on uh, national television? Absolutely big dream. Good for you, well, good luck. Uh, Good luck. So, I reached my uh, sexual peak 38 years ago. <laughs> I'm down to one shade of gray. <laughs> Two if I catch a nap in the afternoon. Um, <laughs> you don't get it? No. Sex is still exciting. I never know what's gonna happen first. The orgasm or the foot cramp. There's some advantages to being my age. Uh, frequently, people will stand and offer me their seat, which is great on the bus, a little creepy in the men's room. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. What does that mean? They'll offer me my seat. What do you mean, what does that mean? The toilet? No. Oh. Just broke up with my girlfriend, Lori. Lori loves role-playing in the bedroom. Once she was uh, Catwoman and I was Batman, well, Alfred. <laughs> so, I will pay anybody $15,000 to find me a lady friend. Now she has to be kind, she has to be fun, and she has to be wealthy because I'm gonna owe somebody $15,000. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hi, what did you think of this? I think you're funny. I think you are adorable. I love that you're coming here and that you're doing this right now. I love that about you. Thank you. Simon. Yeah, you're very naughty, aren't you? I think you're very funny. I think you're someone we're going to remember. I'm just curious why you haven't had that break before. I have a bad habit of uh, putting off long-range plans. Uh, yeah, I, I would speed things up about that now, Andy. It's happening now. That's all that matters. I was confused with some of the jokes. You were confused? I didn't understand some of the, some of the jokes. Oh, shut up! OK, Andy, when I walked by you backstage, I did not recognize you. But then I remember that 40 years ago, I remember Andy Huggins as a 28-year-old kid no. like really? me on the stage. No. We were both starting out yep. together. Yep. Do you remember me and you kind of starting out together? Absolutely. That is crazy. Andy, you know what? You are funny, you're memorable. Andy, welcome to show business. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Howie. Let's vote. I want to kick this off because I love people who still have that determination and that dream, which is why you're going to get a yes from me. Thank you. I think that this is your time and I want to help you get there, so you're going to get your second yes. Thank you. I was just confused with some of the jokes and I didn't really get it. Sorry, my gut said no. Andy, you've been waiting 40 years, and I'm telling you, you're like fine wine. It was worth the wait. You need three yeses, and I am so proud and honored to give you your third. Thank you. Thank you. Years old, I swear to you. Thank you. We shared the stage. I didn't know any of that. I didn't know yes. any of that until he said his name. So this is like your big, big chance, and you just got it. What does yeah. that feel like? Feels real good. Did you understand all of the jokes? Not me. I was just very confused. I enjoyed it, even with you sitting beside me going, what does that mean? I didn't understand it.